I'm looking at something here. Uh, I started started on yesterday, actually. Um, I want to know because I'm making a voltaic pile battery, and I want something fast that I can experiment with to try to make my own copper setup. You know, I'm looking at this uh, bars leaks. You know, there at Walmart, and uh, so, yeah, you know, can't hurt to buy it. I'll try it out. It's like five bucks. So, and it's wet, and it's like a, if you ever use that, it's like a gel. So I want to make some type of a gel set up, which is, that's cool. I need, I needed this to harden up a little bit. So I tested it yesterday and tried to get it to harden up and different things. And so what I did here today, I'm just playing around. I got a little bit of alcohol in there, in the, on the right side, on the um, negative side. And just put the bars leaks by itself in there a little bit. Ran the positive to the copper side and then the negative to the other side. I tested that and it does, it's showing, it does uh, <clears throat> conduct electricity. Okay, and then I ran a, uh, a bridge in between to meet the two and then just found that little thing in the computer and it looked like a little picture frame. So that works and we'll just connect to that. That's, that's a zinc plate. So there you're at, like that. I got a little <clears throat> quarter watt diode here that I pulled out of my set and I just uh, set that in there you know this is not how I I mean a tutorial video at all I'm experimenting with things and I'm just showing you what I'm doing I can get it to stay there it is See, it goes down. Okay? Because I'll tell you why it goes down. Because if you look at these resistors, look at the uh, stripes on them. The red side is the flow, is the energy flow. That's, that's how it's built. All right? So it, it's basically an arrow showing you which side the, you want the positive electrons to flow through. That's backwards. See? There's no positive electrons in, and I, I put like a little quarter of a teaspoon of uh, the uh, Marvin hammer in there just to see what happened. No big change. But you see, it starts going to go down, and it just neutralizes because it's, it just stays right there. It's just going to dissipate and just sit there. You know, it ain't going to do much. It's just going to go down, okay? Because there's no positive electrons in uh, in the negative side. All the positive electrons are in that bar's leaks. All right. If it, if this will seal an engine block, then it's conductive and I can work with it. So we'll just turn that around. All right. Turn it around. As soon as I get my hands together here, okay. With the uh, basically the red arrow, the red line facing the other direction. It won't stay. Well, I'm not soldering anything. So it's going to have to stay. There you go. All right. So now we got the red going in the other direction. And it's up. All right. Now that's going to stay. That's pretty uh, sustained. I mean, that's pretty good. Almost a volt. We're not looking at what it is. We're looking at which direction it's the, the polarity is moving in. See? So you want to keep that in mind when you're soldering in parts and all that. Make sure that if you got any problems, go through it and double check and make sure that that's going to be... That's all i got to say about that. Now that's not going to go up because now... It, this is neutral over here. There's nothing going on. Okay? So we got to make it move. How do we make the electrons move? We got to use salt. That That's just, uh, you know, I need to go get distilled water today for this stuff. I'm just practicing a little bit just just to see what things will, certain things will do. I'll take a Coke cap right here. Put a little salt in it. 
one oh shit not even with the little bit of fluid we got in there now um uh you can use uh alcohol rubbing alcohol as a acid but the, it evaporates too fast if you want a quick quick charge or a quick uh you know application and you can always add a little bit of alcohol in there and bang you know do your milliliter you know set out whatever you're going to do to measure that or whatever and just yeah see it's going down it's going down because there's nothing going on let's put a little salt in it and see what happens Now we're moving. We're doing something until it figures it out what it's going to do. Let's get the rest of it in there. There we go. Let's mix it up. Busters up in here, you know. Shit, let's heat it up and see what happens. <laughs> as soon as I find my torch, I should have all of this already sitting out. But I don't see a torch anywhere in that mess. That ain't gonna do much. Take out the diode or the um, resistor. Put a bigger resistor in it. Resistors, resistors, let's see. Resistors. It really worked though, huh? That helped. Well, we got three, uh, go up, it went up eight decibel there. Yeah. Put it in going the other direction, see what happens. Went back up. Well, those resistors are way different than the one I just put in there. Those are like, those are capacitance resistors. They actually, they'll, they'll hold a lot of juice too with them. So, so any way I go, unless I put a lot of juice to this and run a lot of power through it, it's not going to be nominal. Uh, basically, it's not going to be an off power deal. I mean, you can, you can run 20,000 volts a uh, system and use one of those and it'll work. It'll fry eventually, but it'll it'll work. You gotta have a lot of juice running through. Those are real powerful ones. Like I said. Okay, yeah, it's just something to do. Uh, so what I need to do is, and I did it yesterday, it worked, was to, uh, I need to harden this up. All right, there's too much uh, liquid in here. See, I need to harden that up. So we're going to try to, uh, I'm going to mix, put some salt in there. Um, I put baking soda with it yesterday and it hardened up, but it took too long. So I'm going to put some salt in there. And uh, like a cap, a cap of salt, mix it up real good and stick it out. Because I'm going to need that in my voltaic pile battery anyway, lots of salt. And then we got to run um, 
uh, baking soda uh, as a leverage. Uh, uh, basically, it's a neutralizer. It keeps it from uh, oxidizing. You can clean battery cables with that. And it keeps it from corroding. So you don't want your pile battery corroding. All right. For instance, we got right here is a little. This is a little crappy rendition we did the other day, and I, I let it harden up. I let it corrode and I let it harden up. See, that's that's what's going to happen inside of, an, of a voltaic pile battery if you don't treat it right, if you don't build it right or treat it right. See? So that's uh, in series. We got uh, one, two, looks like I got three cells there, okay? And it's hard as a rock. The electrolyte here is hard as a rock. Or the, the electrolyte plate, okay? And then I got putty in between, that uh, sticky putty to hold it so it don't okay and then uh, it's it's um, it's it's got this in it all in between I just squeeze it down real good okay now I'm gonna put my testers on it let's see push this stuff back for a second I'll show you what 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 I'm getting into this is gonna be a a system that when I build this battery, this other one, it's going to have a, a, a couple of solar panels, small solar panels on it, which I already have those. They're for like garden lights. Those garden lights carry a one, uh, one AA battery, uh, so they're one and a half volt chargers. That's not bad when you're trying to do a, uh, a sodium deal where you're making your own hydrogen and turning it back into water. So that system will make, that, that battery will, if you put it out in the sun, it's going to reactivate anything that's dried out in there. Okay? So that's, we're on a positive plate there. Let's go ahead and get on that positive plate. Okay? Looks like we're there. We're on the electrolyte and we're on the copper. And the zinc is in between. Okay. We gotta keep that separated. Now the negative side. Oop. The negative side is gonna go onto the zinc plate here. Okay. Nothing. Cause it's dry. Let's do it. Let's go here with it. Okay. There. Okay. You got nothing. straightened out this is fun because you try one thing and the, you know you just keep trying different stuff until, until it works that's what experimentation is all about I, I encourage that see so we definitely have conductivity check millivolts see if there's anything going on while we're under the scene behind the scenes yeah you got a little bit okay millivolts Straighten this out a little bit, move it around. There. So we'll take this out, put it directly onto the pad. That's what we want to measure anyway. Is our from our from the electrolyte. Okay. Let's go on both. Okay, it's not good. Be patient because what I'm fixing to show you is going to matter. Now that's just millivolts. You're not going to get anything out of that. It's going up to DC volts. Nothing. Okay. Now, like I said, you build a stack like this. This right here has too much something in it. I'd say there's not too much of anything in that. There's not enough water to keep it going because it's exposed. It's not in a tube. That's that's how you test these. 
It's not in the tube. Now, I've done this where I built them perfect, man, and put them in a tube, and you get too much water, too much liquid, electrolyte, and it's soaking down, falling down, falling down, and when it does that, and you're inside a tube, and there's nowhere for it to evaporate to, the, the, these touch, and it cancels out. So you got to keep those separated. This is why it's so hard. These are hard to build. You got to keep those separated from each other. The 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 two cells, the three cells you're looking at there. Keep them separated from each other. Keep them wet at the same time. And then each thing that you stack has to be separated from each other. And some of them has to be together. It all has to come together and and work, and keep working. That is not easy. Okay, so, here's what we do. I'm going to take, let's see, alcohol is pretty quick. I need something smaller than this, though. Put a little alcohol on it, on that pad on top. Just a, just a drop. There. Nothing. Put a little vinegar in a cap. Vinegar is the acid that we use anyway for that, because it's not toxic. A little vinegar in a cap. A little more vinegar. Half a volt. Over half a volt. Should be three volts. It won't be three volts because it's because it, it's aluminum on there and it's not it's it's not real good stuff. But the point is, see that's a lot now. Okay? So we take a, now I can put it on there saturated. Leave it there. Okay. It's tricky. Now we can get a paper towel. Now it's too wet, see? Get a paper towel. Soak some of that out of there. Try it again.
It's iffy, isn't it? Put a little cocaine on top. Let that soak in. So that's pretty well stationary. That's going to be what it's going to be for right now. See, maybe go up a little bit. The point is, there was nothing when we started. See, it's going up. So to reactivate. So by hooking up, if if when once this is built right, this is just a crappy version just for testing. But once that's built right, and I put a solar panel on top, a little tiny one. I have those, and and bring in just enough. On a on a, on a um, baking soda platform with tubing in the side, it'd be all inside. You won't see any of it happening. And and make it makes its own hydrogen traps. The hydrogen has nowhere to go. Dissipates into H back into H two O once it because it rises, it goes higher. And you you put a, a rounded tube and then it'll it'll go back out. It'll drip 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 system back down onto that. So that's an idea. You know, once you build this thing, it gets sealed up and everything else, and for years, and I want it to last a long time, so I want it to be able to, you know, take it outside and uh, and let the sun charge it up, you know? So the electrons are starting to move now. So... It tells me there's not enough salt in there, not enough matter to really, you know, we need like about seven or eight cells to really get a good test on it, but but that's good enough to try to, to test it. And you'll see that what it's doing is it causes that arm and hammer causes a reaction where it's turn it's uh, separating. Well, you had separation of the O2 molecule molecules. Now they're they're re you recombining. And and it's into uh, turning it into water. Basically, it's it's just you know distilled water works with that. Distilled water and uh, baking soda makes hydrogen, and then the byproduct of hydrogen is straight water, H two O. Distilled water. It goes right back to where it came from. So that would work. All right. On to the next thing.